Hello and welcome back, lovely Gemini. This is going to be a bonus reading for my fellow Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. This reading will be from tonight, February 24th, for the next three weeks as we approach March. So, Gemini, let's get some Moonology. I'm filling messages for the Moonology. On the 27th of this month, February, we have the first quarter moon that will be in our sign. Okay, Gemini? Let's shuffle. This is for Gemini. What are the messages for Gemini? What are the messages from the Moonology most important for our Gemini collective? Gemini. This reading may not resonate for all of you out there. Do check out your other zodiac signs, Gemini. Leo. <clears throat> You have Leo, my throat is a little bit scratchy, but I'm feeling much better. So Leo energy is here. Once again, your confidence is going to be the key to your success. So with Leo energy coming in here, it's like, you know, Leo's getting to the heart of the matter here. Your heart is in this, okay? This is general and in love. There's a feeling here of... Your confidence is coming back in this area of your life. Your determination. All you need to do is let go. Surrender for the next full moon. And nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable energy. So, Gemini, the next full moon is going to be on the 7th in on March uh, in the sign of Virgo. Okay? So, this is going to be a situation, Gemini, where your commitment, this could be to your family, this could be to your work, to your career. Like I feel, this is an area that you're committed for the long haul. It feels like right now, Gemini, mutable energy. You could be connecting with a fellow Gemini, a Pisces, a Virgo, or a Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. But Gemini, you're a mutable sign. So get ready to adapt to the changes, Gemini. It feels like, what do you need to let go of? So... The surrendering is getting ready, like the full moon in Virgo. <clears throat> it's going to be getting ready to work on any imbalances that are in your family or in your work zone or your commitments here is what I'm feeling. You're going to need to step out of your comfort zone, Gemini. For some of you, you have North Node in Taurus or you could have North Node in Gemini. Um, the energy now is the confidence, Gemini. It's like... A feeling here of let go and let God, right? Surrender to the divine. Let the universe step in. Be prepared to be guided, Gemini, because we're in March energy already. This is the most pivotal um, time for us. This is going to be a big change for us, Gemini. And when it co comes to our confidence, okay, like I feel with Leo. So let's see what the message is. Let's see what the message is. The new moon in Leo is going to be in July. So these could be, like I feel, the energies from now to July that are going to play out, okay, for some of us, okay? This is like the feeling here of building a very something concrete, things that are going to be set, set in a very firm foundation. Right now, like I feel, Gemini, there's a sense of um, an imbalance. So things are not in a position where, like, you're, you're signing a contract or you're ready to make that decision for the long haul. It's like a new lease on life that's here. But you're going to need to step away from your comfort zone. So that tells me there could be a Taurus energy that you that you have in your chart. So this could be holding on. This could be hanging on. This could be a feeling here of letting go of, of stubbornness. Letting go of, um, it's like resistance is here. For some of us. There's a resistance to a change here, okay? A lack of confidence in this feeling here, okay? Also, because it's a bold step, Gemini, very bold step. So, Gemini, I'm going to leave that there. And now let's dive into Gemini love, okay? So let's see what's going on for Gemini from today, the 24th, okay? In love, what is approaching Gemini in love for the next three weeks in love. In love, it also feels like nothing right now is concrete, okay? 
it feels like someone here, Gemini, okay, is lacking the confidence to come toward you in love. You could be connecting with a Leo, a fire sign. This is someone who could be stuck in their ways. Someone's getting ready to step out of their comfort zone. Retreat, okay? It is time to disconnect from the world. So, Gemini, it feels like there's an energy here of you getting ready to recharge your batteries, okay? It's a feeling here of replenishing. Um, it's a feeling also here of getting ready to relax, getting ready to take some time out, okay? It's like disconnecting from the world. Now, there's two people here. So, this could be a partner. This could be someone, like, if you're in a committed relationship, the both of you are getting out of town or getting away for the weekend. <clears throat> you deserve love, Gemini. You are lovable. Bullseye. So it's like the Cupid's arrows are being shot here, Gemini. This person finds you very lovable. They love spending time outdoors with you. Um, by creeks, trees, nature, getting out into the elements of earth right now, Gemini. It's like disconnect from the world here. It's time for you to have some fun, Gemini. It's time for you just to surrender, right? And get into this energy of where your confidence comes back with Leo energy, which is ruled by the sun. A positive energy is coming towards you, Gemini. And I feel this is someone here, okay, that's very lovable. And they find you to be very lovable, Gemini. That's our natural instinct. We're very lovable. So let's see one more. <clears throat> religious factors. Your love life is being influenced, Gemini, by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. So there could be a difference with belief systems, okay? For some of my Geminis, like I feel you're getting highly ranked in the spiritual world here. So as we move into, like I feel, Gemini, the month of March, which is going to be the game changer, your role that's going to be played in the next 20 years as Pluto enters Aquarius. It's like, remember, Gemini, you are stepping into a higher ranked energy here. You're being crowned with glory, Gemini. Like I feel, and the arrow's pointing right at you. It's like your love life is going to be influenced, Gemini, by your upbringing, by the spiritual path that you choose now. For some of us, like I feel, Gemini, I'm dealing with a lot of Geminis who are light workers, your Reiki healers, your healers, your sound therapists, your psychics, your intuitive, your a spiritual warrior, Gemini. So it feels like. <clears throat> You could be going to a spiritual retreat with this person. For some of you, it doesn't have to be a person. For some of you, I see you going to a spiritual retreat, okay? This could be in the next three weeks. I'm seeing it. It feels like this is exactly what the doctor ordered. Now, for some of you, Geminis, I wanted to throw this out there, okay? It's time to also get clear, Gemini, with a second opinion. When it, now, I'm not, I don't do readings for health. By all means, see a doctor. But if there's a second opinion that's needed here to get clear, Gemini, for some of you, it could be a rash that's getting ready to clear up, okay? I had to go for a second opinion. I wanted to kick myself in the butt that it took me so long to get a second opinion on a diagnosis. So I'm doing so much better. I got the clarity. I got the results that I needed when it came to my health and my well-being, okay, Gemini? So keep in mind, like I'm feeling, it's always good to get a second opinion here. So, you've changed the way you feel about your beliefs, Gemini, also here. You're aligning to your spiritual path. You're being chosen, Gemini, very highly ranked in this area, okay? So it feels like you are someone, Gemini, who's in touch with your gifts, your abilities here, okay? <clears throat> let's see show me what is approaching gemini what is approaching gemini for february 24th into the next three weeks or so let's see let's say three weeks yeah this person wants to travel they want to go 
like I feel, spending more time alone with you. This person knows you've been doing a lot of healing on yourself. <clears throat> and I feel this person's coming towards you, approaching you. Yeah, for some of you, there it was. So there will be Mercury, like I feel, moving you, like using your skills now, Gemini, your resources. For some of you, you're finding clarity. Let's see. Okay, we pre-shuffled. I'm going to go to this deck, the Unrevealed Thoughts and Secrets, okay? What is this person that Gemini is connecting that's approaching Gemini in love? What is this person hiding? What is this person's thoughts and secrets? What are they hiding from Gemini? What is this person hiding from Gemini? Nobody understands me like you, Gemini. So you have, like I feel, a connection with this person, okay? Nobody can read this person well like you could, Gemini. I feel that you are someone here that this person comes to for advice, for counseling, okay? This is somebody who, like I feel, knows Gemini, that you're going to give them, like I feel, the best advice, okay? So this person knows you can see right through them, okay? And nobody understands them more than you do, okay? What's this person thinking? What are they keeping? They weren't woke, Gemini. So in the past, you were, this was someone from your past. This was somebody who wasn't woke, okay? So this is somebody here who I feel, Gemini, you triggered an awakening in them. Yeah? And now this person, like I feel, they want to come in and apologize. Please accept my apology. My heart is heavy. So they have a very heavy heart, Gemini. Their past was very dark and it weighed them down. So this person went through a dark time, a dark night of the soul. Will you allow me to come back? Yeah, this person's lacking confidence, uh, Gemini, in themselves. It's not you, Gemini. It was always them. So this person had to face their inner demons here. They had a lot of pride and a lot of ego, Gemini. And they know that it was definitely you, okay, that they were getting this sense of, facts you were using logic here this is somebody here like i felt you triggered an awakening with this person this person and you now share different belief systems okay your person's woke now so that tells me this is somebody who's waking up out of the matrix this is somebody who's waking up out of the three-dimensional energy here okay this person is definitely hurting they're in a lot of pain they're carrying, like I feel, this heavy heart for you, Gemini. And it feels like for most of you, like I feel, this is something here, like I feel, that's still mutable, right? It's still like there's things here. It's like this person wants to come back home to you, Gemini. With you, they feel at home. With you, they feel comfortable, okay? It's like this person could be someone here. Um, let's see your current energy for Gemini. And I feel that nothing's going to hold you back anymore, Gemini. I feel you're getting ready to step boldly forward now. It feels like also surrendering to the divine here. It's like letting go. Getting ready to forgive yourself makes the most important decision. Because you free yourself from anyone here that you could be carrying a grudge or queen of wands. Gemini, there's your energy. They find you very attractive, whether you're a woman or a man. You're bold. You got fire in your chart. Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini. The Queen of Wands is a feeling of having confidence, okay, within yourself, okay? The Queen of Wands is a feeling of very attractive, okay, Gemini? It's like there is things that you currently are experiencing, and you know this person is very disappointed. You know they're feeling the loss over you, okay? King of Pentacles. This could be someone, Gemini, who you're taking a current break from. Four of Swords. Like I feel, you could be in this feeling right now, Gemini, where you're recharging your batteries. Right now, at this time, it feels like whatever this is here, there's a deep regret that this person has. They're feeling weighed down. 
You could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here. It feels like the energy overall, Gemini, is it's like you have this certain attraction to this person. There's a certain level of you seeing this person. You can clearly see through them. You know they're experiencing a loss. You know that this person, okay, during this breakup, Gemini, you've, you've already taken action. You're leaving your options open now. So I feel that you're putting yourself out there, Gemini, right now. You're reinventing yourself. And you're very ambitious right now, Gemini. And this person sees your ambition. They see this authority that you're taking with the Queen of Wands. Like I said, you're exploring your spirituality, your Queen of Wands. Okay, Gemini? And you're very bold. You're very confident in, in this energy here. You're listening to your intuition and you're speaking from your intuition. So you're exploring, Gemini, the unseen uh, metaphysics, astrology, numerology, spirituality. <clears throat> and this person, like I feel, is someone who wasn't woke when you were when you were experiencing this. They were still asleep while you were woke. You were woke, Gemini. And you were dealing with somebody who was not willing to take a risk or not. This person was experiencing like a feeling here of they were very controlling when it came to things. Now they're looking, they're looking towards like the both of you are looking towards the near future. Let's see why. Let me see. You were woke when you met this person or when you were in a connection with this person. They're looking, both of you are looking towards the four of wands. Now this person is looking for stability with you. This is someone, four of wands, who wants a new home with you. Wants, like it says here, it says, what does it say? Allow me to come back home, right? Four of wands. Now they're wanting to make a stable offer to you. This is someone, Gemini, who I feel is very financially set. My nails are miserable, I know. This King of Pentacles, okay, like I feel, there's someone who works very hard. There's someone who create, who has a skill set, okay? But emotionally, this person is in despair, very disappointed by the actions that they took with you, Gemini. They have a lot of regrets. So this is someone that's coming in, Gemini, that definitely Venus, Taurus, energy, wants something stable. They want long-term. They want commitment. They want a partnership. They want marriage with you, Gemini. And this is something like I feel this person could come from a very traditional background, right? They're, they have um, belief systems here. So this could be based on uh, a situation that's based on traditional. It's like this person is a person that would build a home with a white picket fence. That's where they come from. Something very down to earth, okay? They're charming, okay, in the energy. And this could be this person's coming in very quickly, okay? And they're about to charm you. One more card for the near future for Gemini. Look, Queen of Cups. So, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces here. I feel, Gemini, that you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Taurus also or a water sign. We have Queen of Cups here. I feel that you're closed off right now. I feel your hands are tied in this situation, Gemini. I feel right now that <clears throat> this is the time to gain a higher perspective. See things in a new way here, Gemini, when it comes to relationships or partnerships. Like I feel, Queen of Cups is a feeling here of looking at this and taking a gentle approach from it, right? The Queen of Cups is definitely healing. So you are very loyal, like I feel, Gemini. You're looking for loyalty and when it comes to a relationship. But I feel right now, it's like, pick your head up, Gemini. You need to pick your head up. It's like, there's a sense of your head has been down so long in this in this, this emotional phase of feeling insecure, of feeling that you were in connections that were very codependent, that didn't support this foundation of what you wanted. So you carry a certain pain that's here, right? Because your head is down. And, and this is like, I feel also a sense of 
Things are, things are about to change. Things are about to shift here. Pisces energy here. So I feel that there's been a certain level of you getting ready to let go, okay, Gemini? Of any pain or burden that you may be carrying in your body, okay? Something around conflict that you could be hanging on to in the situation here, right? So let's see what the challenge could be for Gemini, for you and this person. What is the challenge? The two of wands. So this could be someone that is at a distance from you. That could be the challenge. There could be travel. There could be a fear of the unknown. Yeah, hermit energy. The challenge is Virgo energy too. It's like this person has been in a sense of limbo. They've been silent and isolation. There's a loneliness. There's a feeling of withdrawing your energy at this time. And let's get one more card out. And the magician. Yeah. So there's a sense of the challenge is right now is not seeing a way of how this is going to work out or how it's going to play out right now. The three of pentacles is a feeling right now where there's a lot of energy that's being withdrawn. I feel right now you, you put your head down in the sense of um, you're not opening up to this. I feel that right now it's like there's a sense of it's like you're not going to be opening up to this right now. I feel that right now you're withdrawing your energy. I feel that you're taking time out to recuperate. I feel that right now you're not open to this relationship, Gemini. That's what I feel. I feel that things are about to turn around. I feel that you haven't made that next step yet, okay, for some of you. For some of you, there's been no progress in this situation. For some of you, it's long distance. Um, for some of you, like I feel, Three of Pentacles is here. Let's see what the advice is. Chariot, Cancerian Energy, Aquarius, Star Card, and Seven of Pentacles. So looking at this Gemini now, waiting, it's a sense of waiting, making plans for the future. There's an investment here that I feel that you want to invest in. And like I feel, Gemini, you'll be on top, okay? Like I feel, this is a sense of Aquarius energy with the chariot. You've got all eyes on you, Gemini. It feels like you're going through a glow up right now. Spirit is saying this is your glow up. You're ready, like Gemini, to go to a higher level when it comes to your spirituality. This is Aquarius energy. So expect, Gemini, this new version of yourself. This is a whole new you, and you're getting ready to go the distance with this. You know the direction and how to take control of this will, Gemini. So the chariot energy is also a sense of getting ready to use that willpower and determination because you have faith, an increased amount of faith here. This is what you've been waiting for, Gemini. These are the results that are here that are coming in with the seven of pentacles. You've planted this seed and now it's fruition that's here. So it feels like, Gemini, you have hope for a situation that is going to go in the certain direction that you're about to get clarity on. And it feels like you're going to assert yourself. You're very determined, Gemini. And just like I feel Pisces energy, it's like, let go, go with the flow, right? During Pisces season, just go with the flow, Gemini. It's like energy flows. And where you're focused, that's where energy is going to flow, Gemini. And water, this is water energy. And the stars pouring the waters, right? Blending the waters. So this is preparing your way, Gemini. This is going to be a very big role that you're going to be playing in the age of Aquarius. Big shifts that are happening toward in March, right? This has to do with the role you'll be playing, okay? For the next 20 years, right? It's a very pivotal month that we're entering in. So... Let's see what the outcome is. 11, 11 is here, Gemini, on the table. For some of you, like I feel, this is you see the number 11, 11. You're answering the calling. And four of cups is here. And seven of cups. And the high priestess. Yeah, Gemini, I feel right now you're working on, you're working on the embodiment, Gemini, 
of embodying self-love, mastery. I feel that there's like a feeling of you reinventing yourself. I feel that there's many options, Gemini, that are here for you. Seven of Cups, Four of Cups, High Priestess. Trust your inner knowing, Gemini. Trust your intuition here. There could be a feeling of confused, right? Not having all the clarity that you need in a situation that's based on your emotions. Like I feel, it feels like your head is down in disappointment. You're going to be letting go of someone. It's like Four of Cups. No, I'm not open to this situation. So there's a feeling of you have, Gemini. Someone here from your past that I feel you already know the answers. You already know this. Like I said, you're in touch with the metaphysics. You're in touch with what's hidden behind the veil here, Gemini. You're being initiated, okay? This is the initiation into the metaphysics, bringing it into matter at this time. You have new love that's coming in, Gemini. It feels like keep your eyes open, Gemini. Open up to receiving new love at this time. It also feels like, Gemini, you are very focused right now. You could be in this state of the high priestess, deep knowing, in touch with higher powers. You know the truth, Gemini. You also know the truth about a situation that someone was keeping hidden, right? Something was hidden where there was options here, right? And it was also a feeling of going through rejection here, a feeling of not accepting an offer. That's what I feel. I feel new love is where you're waiting to go towards, Gemini, okay? You are at a crossroads. There's going to be a choice here, Gemini, with the two of swords. Like I feel, you could be indecisive, not having enough clarity at the time. But it feels like where you're headed now, Gemini, you're headed more on a spiritual retreat, a spiritual recovery. This is your spiritual evolution, your conscience awakening that's taking place, Gemini. And I feel that wherever you're going right now, you're just taking it easy. And that's the truth. Clarity. And you're getting ready to move on and move forward. There you are, Queen of Pentacles. Financially being set. Emotionally being stable. Physically, spiritually, you are mastering the arts here, Gemini. Queen of Pentacles is you're very committed. You're working diligently here, Gemini. And it feels like you're getting ready to have a clear uh, path forward here. Six of Swords, Ace of Swords, Four of Swords. Mental clarity. You're very mindful, Gemini. Keep in mindful that you're getting ready for some of you to move forward, to relocate, to move on from any situation. For some of you, it's a physical move, relocating. And it is new love offer that's here for you, Gemini. So you have a choice. I feel that you're going for... This new love for some of you, it's up to you. There's new love and there's a choice between two people here, Gemini, is what I feel. I'm going to leave the reading there, Gemini. Bless your hearts, every one of you. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I love all the comments. In fact, I'm making massive changes on this channel. I wanted to let you know in advance because I have a lot of Gemini clients. I did have upgrades on this channel. I have made price changes. The prices did change for a private reading with me. If you wish to get a private reading, let me know. I will forward you to new prices. Um, also, I wanted to say there's going to be a week, uh, the first week starting from the 27th going through the first week of March. I will be postponed on private readings, okay? Okay. I, if I am, I'll be limited to a certain amount of times. You can always reach out to me and I'll let you know. And also take care of yourselves, Gemini. We're ready for, like I feel, headed towards fame and fortune. Fame and fortune comes in with this kind of an energy, but it's also an energy, Gemini, where I feel you're very humble. You're humble in your work that you're performing now. It's like, Gemini, remember... You're going to be the one who's going to make this decision. You're going to be able to run the show. You're running with something here, Gemini, is what I feel. And there's new love, Ace of Cups. So once again, thank you for reaching out. I will get back with you for the next reading.